All right, everyone. Hello, I'm Proto, and this is Half-Life Scriptless, which is perfect. Which is pretty much the main category of Half-Life, and uh, pretty much every button on the keyboard can only do one action. So that means we have to do everything manually, whether it's jumping, duck rolling, jump bugging, changing FPS. So like here, changing FPS to 20, 10, 100. Everything's manual. And we're going to be changing our FPS a lot throughout the run. So there's sort of a new trick in Half-Life where we lower our FPS before we go through a door. And you'll see it coming up. And this will actually cause the door to kind of open preemptively. So let's see if I can get it here. Like that. And that will cause us to be able to keep our speed through doors. And it's quite a big time save. Uh, you see like that little... That little um, back and forth through the uh, change level trigger. I did. That's actually because NPCs are sort of stuck when you first load a level. And you'll see it when I'm coming into this level here. I'll try to push the NPC, but it won't do anything. And that's just, that just sort of happens in, in just every time you first load a level. NPCs kind of just get stuck in the ground. And just kind of reloading the level gets them unstuck. And we need to get them unstuck to actually... Like, it, normally to get them pushed into a door or something, to get them to open a door. For, so for whatever reason, when you push an NPC into a door, or they walk into a door, it opens. But only if you enter the level through a change level trigger. If you save and load on that level, it will actually prevent the glitch from working. So any time there is a glitch where we need to get an NPC to open a door, we actually have to do the entire map in one try. Because if we fail it and we save and load inside that level, it just won't work. The big, big, big wait time before the run really starts. This is where you listen to lo-fi music and study. So, coming up, we're going to do test chamber skip, and that's where we will actually get the cart from in here. We're going to set it up into this corner here, and we are going to fling ourselves into the air and touch a change level trigger that's in the air. And then, that will change the level to the next level, skipping two minutes or so. We're going to land on this invisible platform, and that's just because the Half-Life map compiler is just kind of not very good back in 1998. And then we're going to fall and we're going to land on an invisible platform and do something called a jump bug. And that's where you uncrouch and jump two units from the ground and it will just neglect all fall damage. And then we'll climb through this window here. To make sure that we get two units from the ground, we will start the fall at 23 FPS and that will just make the player line up perfectly. And then I will have to I will have to do the the uncrouch and jump on the same frame. So here it comes up. And we actually don't need to do this jump bug, but it saves time later because we are going to skip some electricity that I'll point out. I need to press E and right for 13 frames, touch the trigger, save load, get rid of the black screen, 23 FPS, jump bug. And then we get to B-Hop for a little bit. Lowered our frame right there, just to pick up the crowbar a little bit quicker. And that's the glitch I was talking about, how if we preemptively lower our frame rate, it kind of moves time forward a little bit in terms of whatever the scripted sequence is. It kind of looks at the previous frame and goes, okay, 250 milliseconds was how long the previous frame was. Advance the sequence for that much time. 
which is sort of a weird way of doing it, but it's just how it works in Half-Life. Lower FPS to 20 just so that we come out of the water a little bit more. And we're doing object boosts, and that's where we kind of push objects and get a lot of speed, kind of like in test chamber. We're going to grab some armor here, armor batteries, and one more armor just to jump through this electricity and kind of just skip that entire sequence. And the object boosts are kind of just a quirk of the physics engine when you run the game at 100 FPS which is the max FPS you can kind of run the game at. I'm going to have to do a forward one here and shoot the box so I don't run into it and lose all my speed. But it requires pretty good timing to do it right. So this is a glitch where we need to push Barney into the door. I shot him so he's angry at me, he pulls out his Glock and he chases me, and then I throw some grenades on the ground and I need to scare him into this door and he opens it for me. So anytime there's a trick like that, I am not allowed- I'm not allowed to place a save in that level because it will prevent the glitch from working. Or Again here, shoot him in the feet, throw the grenade, get some HP. Ah! We have to do it all in one sitting. There we go. And we explode him just to get him out of the way a little bit quicker. Because we need to touch a trigger inside of the room. There's actually sort of a weird trigger inside of the room that um, makes the door open. But if the door is already open, it makes it shut. And you kind of soft lock if the door shuts and you're inside. So you need to kind of touch the trigger inside of that room before the door is fully open so it doesn't close. So you kind of need to explode the uh, NPC and get into that room really quickly. Little damage boost uh, with the grenade. Pretty much the entire HP is routed out perfectly in this run. So everything I get will be intended for pretty much a nade boost. So you can see I'm building up HP here. And I'm going to do a barrel boost, an explosive barrel boost, which is very fun. I set my FPS to 20 here just so that I don't get stuck in the elevator and lose some HP, which can happen. We're going to do an edge bug, which I'm going to try to explain. If I get it. There we go. So if you're never on the ground for one frame, you don't take all damage. So if you kind of imagine, if you're running the game at 20 FPS, like I just did just then, and I hit the ground and then I slide off of it before the next frame really occurs, it kind of prevents me from... I lose all vertical fall damp or fall speed, but I wasn't really on the ground because the frame I was on the ground didn't really exist. And I just kind of did it just then as well, where I lowered my frame rate to 20 and kind of just wasn't really on the ground. Barrel boost. We're kind of setting up this entire sequence just to kill this boss thing that we're supposed to kill. Hello, Invive. So, you know, just playing the game regularly at this point. Gotta go to the boss room. Uh, you can kind of hit buttons for the wall, like there. So we're supposed to be in that little room watching this scripted sequence, but I kind of want to get some HP. So you just kind of press the button through the wall, and then you can kind of roam around and see this, see this uh, 
animation that's glitched and kill the guy and get some HP. I'm supposed to be stuck in that room while we watch this die. Surf down little ramps here. So we're going to grab a little bit of HP. Very important. Because we're going to be taking a lot of damage. Oh. That was risky. 35 HP with 35 armor. What am I thinking? Oh. Whoops. That little water boost was quite cool. So there's a little push trigger on the water. And if we go above the water and kind of duck spam, we keep touching the trigger. And we kind of just move very quickly. I'm trying to skip over this. So there's a bunch of stuff on the ground here. And it might seem a little bit confusing because it's kind of hard to explain. But I blew up some boxes in the other room. And the maps kind of overlap. And those boxes contained items. And when they blew up, the items dropped. And then I loaded the next level. And because the maps overlap, the items were still there. Just on the other map where they would be if the maps didn't overlap. Or if you understand. So I need to be very careful I don't lose um, that armor I was talking about. Because I didn't grab very much of it. Well, not as much as I should have. I mean, 35 is doable. Alright, just for this boost here. This is why we grab armor. On rail is a very good chapter for bee hopping. It's very fun. Save load, and this will prevent the enemies uh, from attacking because they kind of have a wind up attack. But if I save and load, it kind of resets their animation. Thank you, Valve. Yeah, on a rail is really bad because uh, I was talking about in test chamber how like the 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 compilation of like the compilation the comp I can't speak the uh, when you're compiling a map uh, there's a lot of errors that occur a lot of like weird geometry and on a rail is notoriously bad I show it off on my stream sometimes but uh, pretty much there's invisible walls everywhere and it's god awful. Oh, oh, that's the all. Okay, let's just do that again. So I was supposed to. First try. So I wanted that trip mine just to do a, a trick that saves two seconds where I reverse the door there. So I place. Wait, hold on. Hit the button through the wall. So just, I'm supposed to be stuck in that room, but you can just hit the button to the wall. So if you place the trip mine on that door, and you kind of walk into the trip mine, the door and the trip mine become one, and you get stuck in the door and the trip mine, and the door reverses, and then you have to lower your frame rate to like sneak through the door at the last second, so it doesn't you don't block it and it opens up again. Anyways, it makes it like two seconds faster. Um, it wasn't actually worth reloading just to get the trip mine because obviously I lost way more than two seconds, but it doesn't matter. So I need to wait for the scripted sequence to end. And it's very important that I wait for it to end. And that's why I was shooting bullets. It's so that, uh, I don't leave too early because if I leave too early, the big doors I kind of just went through are, they, they're shut. And that's very bad. So I timed the leave by shooting out bullets. Very kind of you, Invive. Little scripted, se uh, little scripted sequence, little B-hop scripted sequence, which I am very not good at. Hey. That's kind of the slowest way of doing it, but like, I, I fail it way too often. I don't know why, it's not even hard. Like, this one's harder, but like, I don't know. I'm just Papega. So right here, we're gonna do another NPC glitch. We, we reload the level to get the NPCs unstuck. And then we fire an SMG nade, and the alien actually opens the door instead of a Barney or something. 
So aliens can open the door as well, and that SMG nade kind of scared the alien into opening the door. Very cool. Ah. Uh, got stuck by the box. It's fine. Now we just throw some grenades to manipulate RNG. And we're in the captured sequence. So, as I was going into that room, it went black. And you can see there's a there's a charger in the wall that I'm actually healing from. But it's not what you think. So, I enter the room, and then I get teleported behind the room in a black room. But, in that black room, you can actually walk forward and a little bit to the left. And you can get HP through the wall and get HP from the charger. So I'm going to save load here to get rid of the black screen. Time my jumps. Uh, get up here. This is sort of a train that you can control. And I tell it to move faster to destroy this box. I, I think there, you're not supposed to know that you can control it. But you can just go on top of it and press E. And then tell it to move faster. Now we're going to do a trick called meat grab by a wave zone and it's where we grab some meat and we we try to object boost I will you know I'll retry it because it's it's very cool hopefully I get it nope nice ah okay we you, normally you can keep your speed and keep your b-hop it's kind of random like you can probably I, I don't know you probably get it it's a very cool trick though. It's just kind of, it's very, it's very finicky. Anyway, I'll, I'll get good at it someday. So duck roll in the water here just to get a boost and that's why we just spam crouch. Our legs keep touching the water a little bit and it's like, hey. Oh, I lost HP, I don't want to lose HP. Hey, I'll give you big boost. Oh, on the floor here, you press E and you move quicker. I don't know. I can't explain. I'm sorry. New trick where we can climb up on these buttons and jump over the fence. Very cool. If I do this right, I should be able to... Ooh. Get through... Oh. Okay. First try. Kappa. Okay. It's fine. Questionable ethics? I don't know why, but this is like one of my favorite chapters. It's got like some nice boosts. So we're gonna be doing a boost here, and we're gonna be doing the new FPS trick. Damn! Okay, that would be really... Yeah, like that. See how I kind of went through it with max speed? The FPS trick is very cool. I wish I got the first one. I would have done the whole sequence super quick. It would have been super impressive. So we're going to try to not crash the game by picking that up. Good. Thank you, game, for not crashing. Sometimes when you pick up stuff too quickly, your game will be like... Your game will be like crash. Your game goes crash. I can't do the... You know, like... Game goes brr. Alright, you see how this guy's dying and I keep save loading? Every time you save and load when a death animation occurs, he drops his item, but then the animation repeats. So he drops his item again, and then you save load and the animation repeats and he drops his item. I just duped a bunch of bunch of SMG nades. And I went up there just to get the gauze gun because we're gonna be doing some big gauze boots. What are you what are you guys doing over here, dude? That's come on. There you go. Okay happens so I'm gonna have to get some more armor here because I don't want 70 is a little a 60 is a little low there we go all right now we can use our gauze cannon gauze rifle 
boost across. Whoop. Bestest gun. A trick is coming up, which is called IHD. Um, oh, stop shooting, dude. Please, thank you. IHD, which uh, involves an NPC glitch, you know, like getting an NPC to open the door. And it's a big sequence of like a bunch of small tricks that you need to do that are very hard. And it means that I need to do the entire sequence in one try because, or else if I place a save and load the save in the level, the NPC won't be able to open the door. So it's one of the most notorious tricks in the game because of just its difficulty. I'll get, I'll get armor here. Lowered my frame rate just to get the door open a little bit quicker. Trip mine hell. We gotta dodge trip mines while doing some fancy B hops. So we actually dupe an item here, and it's kind of weird. We shoot the box, and then we shoot it with a shotgun, and it drops two because I kind of assume it kind of gets killed by the explosive and the shotgun, but it doesn't work quite like you think. So here comes IHD. That's RNG. It's not RNG, but bless. I practice. I kind of want to get. I don't want to do some new backup. There we go. I say that, and I do a new backup. It's fine. This is pretty much exactly what it looks like, anyways. There we go. NPC opens the door, and now I'm stuck inside of the door. Two. I'm counting. Look at my HP. Three. I'll explain what's going on. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And one for good luck, I reckon. Eight. Um, so what happened on that map was I'm getting stuck in the door, and I'm getting HP from the door, and that's because... When they were making the map, someone kind of entered the, uh, like, how much HP should this guy take for blocking the door? And the guy entered negative one. So instead of taking HP, it gives you HP. And I've kind of made that mistake myself. I don't know, maybe someone else has made that mistake as well. Thinking that, like, negative one in a, in a hurt trigger would be, like, taking away HP instead of giving it. So we can also do gauze boost, and that's kind of where you shoot a gauze into a wall, and it reflects and it hits you in the face. Uh, it gives you a good boost, it also hurts you. But you can see I've got a shit ton of HP now, so I can just kind of... Oh, get out of my way. I was going to say move, B, get out the way, but besides that's maybe not great. <laughs> okay, the game almost crashed. If, if one of those B things hit you after loading the level, the game just crashes. Uh, yeah, but since I have, like, so much HP, I can just do boost after boost, and it's super fun. How's your day? Kind of shot the NPC, scared him into opening the second door quicker. You normally have to wait for him to speak. It takes like two minutes. How's it going, guys?
some Half-Life ASMR. Just listen to the beautiful sounds. Another NPC glitch here. We're just going to shoot the Barney. He gets angry at me, pulls his gun. I fire an SMG, he runs away from me. He opens the second door. I grab some ammo and stuff because that's what I do. And we're into the next sequence. So there's actually a... Oh, nice. Sorry, the explosion destroyed the thingy through the wall. Uh, <laughs> so there's actually, before we went into Zen, I kind of went through, uh, like almost a hurt trigger. I fired some hornets into it, and instead of hurting me, it was hurting the hornets. Very cool. Save load there, saves two seconds. Very cool. But yeah, if you, if you ever, if you ever get hurt, or you don't want to get hurt by something, just shoot some hornets. Hornets take damage. You're good. Gordon goes right through. Loads the next level. Very cool. I'm just gonna kill a big sack monster. It's very important that we kind of do this part in a very certain position because uh, it's possible for him to get glitched, whatever it is, and we just kind of want to make sure it doesn't get glitched because it kind of wastes time. Yeah, we're good. Kind of did it funky. I was scared it was going to glitch anyways. There's sort of a third battle for this fight, but you can kind of just skip it by just blowing up the wall. Very cool. Zen is like kind of known for being like a bad chapter of Half-Life, but like if you're familiar with the speedrunning, it's actually very, it's very fun. Because you just get to do a lot of boosts and stuff, and you get to go fast. You gotta go fast. Oh! Okay. Normally you can get the, um, Hornet there inside of the box, and when it breaks, it kind of causes the NPC not to spawn. Good thing I got a little bit too much HP, huh? That would have been embarrassing if I died. Wrong gun. It's okay, first try, guys. It's my first time playing this game. Final boss. Get ready for a timer stop. Gotta break all the crystals. Fire some SMG nades, switch between the revolver. Keep spinning so the baby doesn't know what to do. Blast into the air. Shoot the head. Time stop. Finish. End. Whatever the... yeah. Alright, actually, look, there's two timers. There's like a real-time timer and in-game timer. Let me turn on in-game timer. 2857? That is... what is that? That's like 57 seconds... 50 seconds off WR or something? Hey, Not too bad. Um... GG. Thank you guys. You follow me on Twitch. 
I'll be doing some maybe glitch expeditions, maybe. I got some pretty funky glitches, if you want to see them. Um... As for the suit, I think you've earned it. I don't know. What am I supposed to say? The order world, Zen, is in our control for the time being, thanks to you. Wait, did I beat my record? Piece of work you I might have PB'd. I am did I PB? Impressed. I might have PB'd. That's why I'm here, Mr. Freeman. I have recommended your services to my uh, employers. And All right. I think that's it. See you guys. Bye-bye.